Billy Bush. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. I'm here to remind you of that excess Hollywood tape, my man. Can you believe I got fired just for listening to you? Whew. And then you got elected president, and now you're saying that that tape isn't even real? What? You'll be fine, Billy. I'm sure you'll find work again. Well, I, I hope so. Uh, frankly, I'm looking pretty good in the NBC News division right about now. <laughs> Remember, Donald, these things catch up with all of us. If you worked at NBC right now, you'd be fired. Fired! Fired! Wait, a lot of money. Come back. Where'd you go? I think it was important to tell the story of the political season through satire because we were both so up to date on the news every single day. We watched every single news story because we wanted to feel abreast of it all. And the weight of that at its like core value was so exhausting and so hard that we had to look at it satirically or we would have cried. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that that was just how, to, we, how we personally translated it and we have such respect for people who, who just report on it and you know bring other stories to light because it feels like such a more difficult uh, way to process the news, to be honest. <laughs> how do you value growth versus proficiency in measuring progress in students? Well, yes, I, I don't, um, I don't know anything about school, but I, I do think there should be a school, probably Jesus School, and uh, I do think it should have walls and roof and gun for potential grizzly. Let's see, that's enough for now. I think that, per that political satire is important because that's how a lot of people get their news these days. A lot of people watching the show would tell us that was how they kept up with the news. That was how I kept up with the news watching SNL when I was younger. That's how I knew who all these people in the administration were because they were being pers they were being impersonated on SNL. So I do think that it's an important way to just like keep the public in the know in the in our in our own little way. <laughs> Okay, good morning, guys. It's an honor to be here today. Uh, for those of you who don't know me yet, my father is Mike Huckabee, and my mother is a big Southern hamburger. Okay. And yes, obviously, I'm hilarious like my daddy. Now, I'm filling in for Sean today. As you know, Sean is fulfilling his duty as an officer in the Naval Reserve, and that is why he cannot be here. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I can see him hiding in those bushes. <laughs> I think political satire is incredibly important and I, I would notice it during our political coverage. There would be a lot of times when sometimes news outlets or the president himself or people at the White House would say, they went too far. Um, and I think that's kind of like nice to get that as feedback. Like it's always nice to kind of feel like you're pushing it too far or you said something that maybe angered people. Um, not just for the sake of angering people just to like cause noise, but I think if the people in power are a little worried about what you're gonna say or are literally tuning in live because they're worried about how you're gonna make fun of them, um, that's a cool power to wield. It's incredibly dumb that we were two of the people that had that power, <laughs> but I think it's important to keep people in power a little on their toes and afraid of how they're gonna be made fun of and what, what we're gonna say about them.